Hi Long Range Hunting and welcome back to episode 34 of our Terminal Ballistic Testing Hunting versus Match Bullets. Welcome back everybody. Today we are testing the Norma Bond Strike. Now, if you just watched the last episode, we did the tip strike, which was 170 grain at 2,500 feet per second impact velocity. Today we are doing the Bond Strike from Norma, and it is 180 grain with an impact velocity of 2,600 feet per second. So very close to the impact velocity, both fired out of the same 308. Um, so, you know, pretty close comparison for these two bullets. The 180 did have a little bit more velocity, and unlike the tip strike, which is a flat base, this is a boat tail. So this is a lead core bullet with a jacket. It's bonded, so the core and the jacket are bonded together. It does have a polymer tip, which is nice. It has that cavity, which is gonna aid in expansion. And this one has a boat tail. So unlike the tip strike, which had a flat base, this boat tail will help in that bullet not bleeding off velocity so fast. So this can aid you in getting a little bit more range as far as that goes. It being bonded though in the jacket thickness, because it's even thicker than the tip strike, it's going to require a higher velocity in order to expand, and it's gonna have a higher minimum impact velocity in order to expand. Uh, for this particular bullet, 2200 feet per second is the minimum impact velocity that I recommend based off the performance that it has in the construction. But let's go ahead and dive into the video and we'll go from there. Now we saw we had a pretty decent transfer of energy. Now, we got good expansion. Um, the bullet traveled through. You had that deep penetration a lot of people like. Uh, penetration doesn't necessarily mean good performance. You do have a balance, but if you over penetrate, a lot of the times it's because you're sacrificing terminal performance. You're not transferring as much energy because that bullet's traveling through. So it's not always a good thing. You want to balance it where you have enough penetration to take care of that animal, where you are going to penetrate and take care of all the vitals, cause enough damage, etc., and you don't want to underdo it or overdo it. So it's kind of a balance. Now, the lower the impact velocity with these, the more they're going to penetrate and pencil through. Now, you saw this had a smaller transfer of energy than the tip strike, even though the tip strike is lighter and is going a little bit slower, 100 feet per second slower. So we did get a very nice expansion in this, but the problem is, as you can see, we kind of have almost like these petals coming out, whereas the tip strike was a nice circle. So we had a consistent surface area, whereas this, we do have surface area, but we also have these gaps. So it's not causing the same kind of trauma. It's not displacing as much because it has those areas to give. So the one that's just a solid piece is the one that's going to displace the most. So was this bad performance? No. Um, this is actually a decent bullet. For the bonded projectile guys, this is something that will work really well for you. Um, make sure you keep that impact velocity up over 2200 feet per second. You know, it had a decent permanent wound cavity. It had a decent transfer in energy. It's definitely better than something like a core lock, but it's not a top tier bullet. Um, the tip strike actually outperformed it. The downside of that though is again, it's a flat base. It doesn't have the BC that this does. And so that one will bleed off energy faster. Um, it's more of a short range where you can use this a little bit better to get some range, but 
ultimately that construction is what's going to hold you back with it being a thicker jacket and bonded. That tip and that cavity really does help with that though. Now the type of animals, a lot of people ask me about that, you know, what kind of animal would you use this for? Um, they tend to think, you know, with cartridges, oh, you need this cartridge or this cartridge for this specific animal. That's that's really a load. It really is. I mean, you could technically use this. The bullet's what determines performance. I talk about that all the time. Um, but this bullet, I mean, it's going to hold together. So on those larger animals that have more impact resistance, it's going to hold up better at those higher velocities. Um, you can also shoot it at a higher velocity due to the construction or the tip strike or, you know, a thin jacket bullet like a ELD match. So you can, uh, you can get these a little bit hotter than you would with another projectile and still go for those animals that are a little bit more impact resistance and depth of penetration needed. Again, velocity is key though. Um, if you're going to use this on something that's more impact, is less impact resistant, you know, smaller animals, if you're going to do uh, coyotes or anything like that, you can do them. Or white-tailed deer, you can do them. Uh, I would recommend high shoulder shots to just give you the best advantage possible, especially on white tails. Um, if you're on stuff like elk and moose, you can definitely high shoulder it still. It'll still take care of business. But you want to increase as much uh, impact resistance and depth of penetration as possible on the higher end. And even on the lower end, because on the lower end, you're going to be getting less expansion as that velocity drops, less performance. So increasing that impact resistance by going for a high shoulder is going to aid you in getting better performance, especially the further you go out. So all in all, it, as far as bonded bullets go, it's a good bullet. I'm not going to say it's bad. Um, I didn't like how it expanded as far as it wasn't one big, you know, circle that it kind of almost had leaves peeling off of a look but ultimately though the performance it's not a bad one it's a decent bullet so if you're looking for a bonded type bullet uh, that's not a bad option honestly um, both the tip strike and this performed actually pretty decent both were good bullets uh, they performed a hell of a lot better than the evo strike that i tested which was absolutely terrible so um, i hope you found this educational uh, if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and i'll make sure to get back to you guys on that as soon as possible we have quite a bit coming up i've got a trigger cam uh, for my scope on the way, I'll be replacing the tactic cam. So I'll, once I get that on and put it through its paces, I'll do a review of that to show you guys that. Um, and some other fun stuff coming up. So everybody, until next time, be safe. Happy hunting. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notification bell so you won't miss out on any future video. And happy hunting!